Hi, fifth grade. Today we're going to discuss lesson 85 of grammar. We're on page 435. You need your book. You need something to write with. And you need to have looked over the lesson explanation on Jupiter. It was pretty bare bones because today we're discussing regular verbs part three. So it's just a list. And we're going to go over it and you are going to memorize it. Our vocabulary today starts with pretentious. Pretentious means arrogant, showy, or pompous. The pretentious billionaire wore flashy jewelry and looked down on the common people. Our second word is gr grandiloquent. That is a hard word to say. Uh, Grandiloquent. Grandiloquent, I really hope I'm pronouncing that right. Um, and your parents can hear me, so I really hope I pronounced it right. It means spoken pretentiously. The billionaire wearing flashy jewelry gave a grandiloquent account of his own accomplishments. So that's our vocab for today. So we remember that regular verbs form their past tense by adding ed, and that for the past tense and the past participle of regular verbs, they are the same. Irregular verbs do not form their past tense and past participle in that way, and therefore we just have to memorize different sets of irregular verbs. So today we're going to work on our third set. These ones don't have, they are grouped together, uh, as you will see, because in many cases, the past participle and the past tense are the same. So we are going to start with beat, 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 has beaten, bite, bit, has bitten, Bring, brought, has brought. Build, built, has built. Burst, burst, has burst. Buy, bought, has bought. Catch, caught, has caught. Come, came, has come. Cost, cost, has cost. Drive, oh, that's not drive, that's dive. Dive, dove, has dived. So if you will look, you will see the past tense for dive has dove or dived. In our grammar book, when you have two options that way, the first one is the more correct one and the second is acceptable because it has moved into common usage. Our next word is draw, drew, has drawn, and now we have drive, drove, has driven, eat, ate, has eaten, fall, fell, has fallen, feel, felt, has felt, fight, fought, has fought, find, found, has found, flee, fled, has fled, fly, flew, has flown, forget, forgot, has forgotten, forgive, forgave, has forgiven. So that is our third list of irregular verbs. So you need to practice this. There are different ways that you can practice. You can make flashcards, put the present tense of the verb on the front, put the past tense and the past participle on the back. You can try and test yourself. You can get a family member or a friend over FaceTime or Zoom to help test you. You can also make the three-part list, make the each column and fold it over and then try and see if you can do the whole thing. Or you can write this list out multiple times. You can post it all over your house, put one on your 
bedroom wall, put one on your bathroom mirror, put one on the fridge, you know, anywhere, anywhere you want. There is on page 454 an errors to avoid section. Um, they are saying that sometimes people treat regular verbs as if they are irregular. That is actually less likely in your case for students your age. It's more likely that you will treat irregular verbs as regular verbs. But the important part of that section that you do need to note is that if the dictionary does not list the verb's principal parts, it is a regular verb. So if you are not sure what the principal parts of your verb are, look up the verb in the dictionary. If it doesn't say anything about the principal parts, it's going to be a regular verb. If it is not, if it's an irregular verb, it will give you the principal parts. So that's the important part of that. So I don't know that there is a great deal to be uh, gained from me going over the practice with you. Um, I think that you can handle the practice on your own. This is one of those lessons that we have in our grammar book where it is just a matter of memorizing the material. So I hope you guys have a good time with lesson 85 and good luck on your review set. I will see you here later. Have a great day, guys.